Hello and welcome to our class. Today we will focus on the Canary deployment. Three topics for today. What is Canary deployment? How to implement Canary deployment with Ingress? I'll demo how to config Canary deployment in Kubernetes. What is Canary deployment? There are two diagrams. First is a traditional deployment. Second is a canary deployment. These are existing app version v1 in production. And the user use www.springboot.com to access our app version v1. Next, use canary deployment with app v1 and v2. In the app version v2, we add a new function. When user access www.springboot.com, 90% of user will access existing app version v1. 10% of user will go app version v2 to try new function. That's canary deployment pattern. A canary deployment or canary release is a deployment pattern that allows you to roll out a new code or function to the subset user as an internal test. In that diagram, 10% of users will do internal testing with app version v2. Canary release is a technique to reduce the risk of introducing a new software version in production by slowly rolling out. From my view, Canary deployment is a super blue-green deployment. In blue-green deployment, switch new function for entire user. In Canary deployment, switch new function for subset user to reduce the risk. The name of this technology original nights from miners who will be carrying a canary into the cage down the core mines. If the tactical gas leaked into the mine, it would kill the canary before kill the miners. A canary release provides a similar from the earlier warning for the potential problems before impacting your entire users. Second topic, how to implement canary deployments in Minikube Nginx Ingress. First, enable Ingress add-on in your Minikube cluster. You have to and then enable Canary in Ingress resource. There are three canary types. First, based on the header. When the ingress find the user network traffic has a special header and then redirect user request to the new version. Next, cookie type. Ingress resource based on the user request cookie redirect the user to the new version of application. Third, Canary type based on redirect percentage, ingress randomly redirect user requests to the new version of app as above diagram. The three canary type is able to use individually or combine two or three together. If combine three or two together, the priority is from high to low. Canary by header, canary by cookie, canary by weight. From my view, canary by header is better because canary by cookie, you have to add additional code to renew the cookie. Canary by weight means randomly send the user to a new version. When the user faces the bug, need more time to analyze. Latest topic for today. I will show how to implement canary deployment in Kubernetes. Log in my terminal. First step, enable ingress add-on in Minikube. Check the 
tag mini cube IP. Next step, add the mini cube IP and uh, www.springboarddemo.com into host file. You will follow my previous class. There is IP address and www.springboarddemo.com was in your host file. If not, run above command to add the domain and the mini cube IP in your host file. Let me check my file. My house file hide this uh, IP address and the domain mapping information. Why we need to add the domain name and the IP address to the house file? Because www.springboardemo.com is not a real domain name, only used in our test purpose. There are no DNS has record www.springboard.com point to my mini cube IP address and then create app version v1 there are two ways one way retrieve the YAML file from git repository directly to create a below resource or you can download the entire repository to your local apply the file to your local directly. I use the second way. Before I apply the file, let me go through the file. Same file we used the previous class. First, create a naming space. Naming space name is kubectis training. Create a secret and configure map to resource used in our Spring Boot Demo V1 service. Their deployment. Replica site equal to 3 in deployment. The pod template. The image is Spring Boot Demo V1. Also mount configuration map and secret in the pod. The service. There is a version selector in the service. The service uses a selector, select the pod which one version equal to v1 kubectl apply minor f plus yaml file name check resource use kubectl get all plus naming space parameter create ice training to retrieve above created resource first is the pod information there's three pods created based on the replica parameter. So that is running. Service created. Deployments also created. Replica side resource in there. Go next steps. Create an ingress resource. When the user accesses www.springboot.com, the ingress will redirect user traffic directly to the Springboot demo service v1 pod. Go through the YAML file. This ingress YAML file. The name is ingress v1. Naming space kts training. Annotation at ingress.class equal to nginx. The rule is any network traffic to www.springboardemo.com will redirect the traffic to the Spring Boot demo service v1. In behind the scene, nginx ingress retrieves the service pod information. The network traffic will go to the pod directly, avoid the service layer to enhance the performance. The port is 9999. Ingrid resource was created. There's a coral plus domain name to access the service. The version value should be v1 successfully. Third step, create a v2 Spring Boot microservice. 
go through the YAML file. Same as the Spring Boot demo v1 YAML file. The difference in the version number, version number change from v1 to v2. All the resource created in the KTS training naming space. Replica value is same, is 3. There is different in the pod template. The image version from Spring Boot demo v1 changed to Spring Boot demo v2. Selector also changed from version v1 to v2. The YAML file will create a deployment pod service. Check result. Three pods for V2. Service V2 resource created. Deployment Rabbit site were created. Next, create a weight based ingress resource. Go through the YAML file. API version is V1. There are three parts in the YAML file. First, app version information. The value is V1. Kind, ingress, my data. The name is a canary weight ingress. Naming space KTS. The annotation used to enable canary deployment and the rule for the canary. Ingress.ingress.kubernetes.io select canary value equal to true. The annotation means turn out the canary function in index ingress. Second, the canary rule is canary minor weight 50 means ingress randomly select 50% user network traffic to Spring Boot demo service v2 version. Others the same. House, house mapping information www.springbootdemo.com The path is a root. Spring Boot Demo Service V2 Port is 9999. Read successfully. Use Coro to test. Coro space www.springbootdemo.com V2. That means ingress resource redirect to the network traffic to Spring Boot demo V2 service. Run again. V2. The third request redirect to the network traffic to V1. I test 10 times. 30% network traffic go to Spring Boot demo service v2. Since there is the algorithm is randomly, I believe if I continue to run more testing, for example, 100 times, the percentage will close to the 50%. Delete this canary deployment. Next, try the canary by header. You can combine the two rules together, but it's hard to show a clear result. So, delete current canary by weight ingress. Go through the canary by header ingress resource YAML file. Version info can is the same. Many two new annotations. First, canary by header. Second, canary by header pattern. There are two lines combined one rule. If the ingress find user header has a key value pair, the key is the region. Value is V or MD. While redirect user request to app v2 version. Rules is the same. Host www.springboardemo.com Python is root. Service Springboard Demo 
service v2 port 9999 Coro, domain name, plus minor H means header. The key is region, value is VA. This request should go to the V2 version. The result, value is V2. MD is V2. If we change the version to the CA, California, where we go to the V1. Region equal to DC, go to the V1 version. Why region CA and DC go to Spring Boot Service V1 version? Because our Canary header pattern value is VA and MD. Demo finished. If you want to get more ingress, NGS ingress annotations. The URL has the more canary annotation detail. Today we learned the canary deployment is a deployment pattern that allows you to roll out a new feature to subset of user for the internal testing. How to implement canary deployment with ingress use annotations. There are three canary type support by NGS ingress, header, cookie, wait. You can use one of three or combine two or three together in Canary deployment. Also, I show how to run this uh, Canary deployment in the mini cube with the Canary by weight and Canary by header. Thank you for watching. See you in the next time.